Let's get more on this with Maysam Beravish, who is a research affiliate at the Centre for Middle Eastern Studies and joins us live from Stockholm in Sweden now. Uh, Maysam, good to have you with us. So Baghdad is really Thanks. ramping up the pressure here. It wants control of local airports. It's demanding that foreign consulates are closed. Uh, Turkey has weighed in and says it's threatening to cut the oil pipeline. What effect are all these measures going to have on the Kurdish region? Well, definitely the uh, neighboring states, including Turkey and Iran, and also the central government, are um, increasing pressure to basically uh, force the uh, um, KRG to cancel or uh, nullify the outcome. And if, uh, and particularly if that's not achieved, they are um, trying to uh, convince the uh, uh, Kurdish uh, government, the Kurdistan regional government at least not to carry on with uh, the establishment of a state. So um, it's going, uh, as far as I can see, it is, it's going to be tough in the short run, but I don't think it will uh, result in a major military uh, confrontation. OK, but even if Baghdad forces the KRG to uh, cancel results of, of, of that referendum, the underlying issue is still there, that the majority of Kurds want independence. So what does the KRG do going forward? Uh, well, I don't think they're going to cancel the outcome and they will uh, be pushing uh, with the negotiations with uh, Baghdad and on the other hand, probably with Iran and uh, Turkey to avoid uh, increasing pressure. Uh, but this is going to be but a Baghdad long Baghdad says it doesn't want negotiations. It doesn't want to talk. Well, I, I think they will finally uh, have to come to the negotiation table because uh, it's, this seems uh, like the, the way it is going, it, 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 it looks like it will become some sort of fait accompli. And I don't, there might be some you know, skirmishes or uh, small uh, scale conflicts, particularly around uh, some flashpoint cities uh, and like including Kirkuk, the oil rich uh, city of Kirkuk, but I don't think there will be a, a major confrontation. So it seems that uh, Baghdad uh, will finally uh, agree to negotiate, but that's going to be a tough and long term process. Indeed, and we'll wait to see what happens. Uh, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts there, uh, Mesam Beravesh there.